recording. Hey, it's good to see you. And good to see you too. What's your name? Tosh. Hmm. Where are you from? Bruges. Bruges. Where Sounds are you like from? a neat place. From Colorado. All right. I'm not from Colorado. I I, I grew up in Missouri. Okay. I live in Colorado. Like I actually that. grew up most of my life in Fullerton, California. Played for the Fullerton Stars. It was a hockey team. Oh, okay. Like, started in Missouri, but then they drafted me. It's not drafted, but they took me like, when I was like 12 and I lived in Orange County and played hockey with Steve Soto from the Adolescents. Alright, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> it's all true. Real stuff happening here. Okay, first question. I'm like, actually, during the show, I was thinking, I'm not happy with my first question, so I'm just going to rephrase it a bit. No, 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 I'm just going to rephrase it a bit. So, obviously, you enjoy playing your own songs on stage, mm -hmm. and I was wondering if you enjoy as much um, playing other musicians. Songs. Oh, I love playing. It's, it's my favorite thing. I know where you're going with this. Yeah. I like playing my own songs, of course. Um, the songs that you plan to play, because you still like to play them, you want them they're brand new or you haven't played them for a while. But then there's other ones that then you play with new people and they make them sound different. Uh -huh. But playing on other people's songs, to be honest with you, like it's kind of my favorite. Yeah, I was thing. wondering. Help like, it, like getting to help and not be the main, do the main thing, just be a, uh -huh. a helper. I love and that. Do you, I like do doing you, my own songs, of course, like but I like being a, adding a part of the machine. Like a, a pinch of junk yeah. to it. Yeah, but I try not to. It's funny you ask that, but you know, you've seen me. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, we can't help but you you go in there, but uh, you try not to overdo it though. Uh-huh. Yeah. You, you still want to respect the songwriter? Of course. Songwriter or... Yeah. Oh yeah. No, you actually try to make it so a really awesome harmony or a really great thing is uh, if someone doesn't even notice or like think, like, oh, there's another singer. It's mm -hmm. just a cool sound happening. Like, that's one way to do it. What are we doing like tonight though? I mean, and sometimes it's just cool. Yeah. A bunch of dudes just like, yeah, it's this fun. map, that's a yeah. good sick. Yeah, yeah, he's so amazing. So it's like really easy and really fun, you know what I mean? Like you get to like go on like a water slide, it's like awesome. Yeah. <laughs> it's really easy, you don't have to do nothing, like you can kind of do whatever you It's part of the whole thing. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. a fucking high class, you know, high class, but it's like, just do it. High quality, you know what I mean? <laughs> Just a proper singer. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to shoot the next question. Uh, sure, I do. Um, I've got a question about companies who pick playful or meaningless job titles. Every single job is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. No, no, it's cool. <laughs> I didn't really hear what you said, but I actually felt like I was about to get fucking ambushed. <laughs> No, no way. So why did you, no, <laughs> the question about why the... Yeah, so, uh, so meaningless job titles. Let me explain. Every single sure. job is being aggrandized. Um, manicurists became nail technicians. Mm -hmm. Warehouse luggers became fulfillment associates. Okay. Supermarket shelf stackers became product merchandisers. A receptionist became a director of first impressions. Every security guard is now a house hero. If you can shake a drink, you're a mixologist. If you can shake your booty, you're a burlesque artist. <laughs> if you could pick a playful job title for what you do, what would it be? That's funny. <laughs> I was like that because there was a cartoon when I was young, and they're like, uh, or like it was a kids' book, and they're like, this dog's a mutt, or this dog's a mixed breed. You know, mm -hmm. that type of thing. Uh, but, uh, what am I? Hang on. Uh, my brain, I was telling my friend Ben Marwood this yesterday. I can think of some, you know, high quality stuff, but I can't even think of words like broom sometimes. <laughs> you know, like, I'm just, I'm trying to think of it, but, uh, Was Thomas Jefferson to, to Paris? <laughs> to France? 
what was he? He was a was he an ambassador maybe, but I believe there's another word for it. We'll edit this out. Yeah. Because I'm not I'm not doing good with this. <laughs> you know what it's, I mean? It's a very we will edit this out. question. No, but uh, it's a it's a really simple word I'm trying to think of. I mean that's what I would would like to be though. I would like to be the you know, it's 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 a go between. It's a fucking uh, it's the friend of both of, of 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 all, you know, it helps people come together. Uh, I'm trying to think of a, it's a, just a it's a word that's on the tip of my tongue. And uh, Thomas Jefferson. Yeah, it is an no, ambassador, yeah. but there's a better way to put it that's not as like a like a political kind of position okay. type of sounding word. It's more of a more common word. Just, just more down to earth kind yeah, of. Yeah, it's just more of a friend, um, more of a friendly, more of a friendly type of word. The camera's freaking me out. Yeah, if, if it wasn't me happening, too, I would too. be talking about it. We'll get back to that. We'll get back to it. Hey, hey, Matt, what's a good word, though? It's like an ambassador or like a go-between, though. Be like someone to just help, uh, you know, help. A liaison? A liaison is what I would love to be. <laughs> liaison is the word I was looking for. Of music. Yeah, just a liaison. Not really. I would <laughs> no. Liaison works, <laughs> maybe. Okay. It's, no, it's pretty, but that is the exact idea. You had to tell me we're looking for French word. Is it French? It is. But I did say French word. No. no. You said what? I said French What's Jefferson? I said no. what was Thomas Jefferson to France? <laughs> As yeah, like you didn't Did I not say, say that? <laughs> you I said what Jefferson to France. You got it. The intention of a French word. You know what I mean? I'm serious. <laughs> Thomas Jefferson. Okay, we got it. Perfect. <laughs> okay, next question. Please don't make me look like an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> You're the only one doing it. <laughs> oh. Not like an asshole, but I mean the way you look right. <laughs> Okay, sorry, next question. It's okay. Spider-Man, Wolfman... Thomas all Jefferson. Are, yeah, exactly, all are great men. Do you, as a singer-songwriter, feel like you have to spread a positive message? I think so. Not really, I didn't think that before, and now I do a little bit. Or at, least, older, or, 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 or at least keep it going in that direction. I have this new song, I didn't play it tonight, but I, I, was, I, was, I was talking about it. Uh, like, there's a person in my life, and in my old days, I'm going to write a very rough song about them. Like, mm -hmm. and I didn't feel right being like that hostile and upset. I, I make the comment like uh, how I don't feel good about being this upset about the situation. And I, and I changed the whole idea. I just wish a, a really bad day for this person. Like it goes, I hope you leave town. I hope you break down on the side of the road. I hope you're leaving town in the snow. I hope there's bad traffic, like, like, <laughs> like there's all this stuff. So I tried to, and that was in my extent of being of the negative part. And it was, it, but yeah, everything is supposed to be. I'm trying to keep it positive, yeah. not, but not a shining star. You know, you know, mm -hmm. like, I'm not Richard Simmons. Oh. Nothing wrong with Richard. I'm just saying I'm not like, but yeah, I'm definitely not. I'm trying to keep it the glass half full, right? You know, there's some scary understand. shit going. Definitely. It's changed as of like a week or so ago. It changed even the way I like to joke around about stuff. Some shit's not funny anymore. Mm -hmm. You just gotta keep cool. You don't want to upset it. I, I don't want to upset it. I'm, I'm actually gonna be way more PC than everyone. Not that I wasn't, but I wasn't overly. I don't think anyone should ever be that way. Uh, like kind of relax a little bit. Everything's not so uptight. But things are a little uptight. I gotta get shit straight. Yeah. For a second. Just, yeah, That's true. Take care of some stuff. Mm -hmm. Make sure everyone's looked after, mm -hmm. right? I mean, that's what I think, and that's way beyond something I ever publicly, you know, say. I, I try not to make a huge deal out of it, but somehow we got there. Did we get there? I, I took us there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm the only <laughs> asshole. <laughs> but it's like that Jim Jeffries thing that I like to say, asshole. Do you know who that is? He's no. He was just making a comment about uh, just don't be the asshole. And there's people you don't like sometimes, and you're like, you're like, you know, just don't be the asshole. And I agree with that. I just have a very take it or leave it, and, and just and just do whatever you want. And I take it or leave it, but also just live and let live, just whatever. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna just do what you want to do, as long as you're not a 
an asshole yeah. and making shit bad mm -hmm. for us, uh, you know, without know I being mean? ugly or negative about it. Goes back to your question. That's as positive as, as I'm trying to be. <laughs> Just don't be a dick. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Don't be negative and that's as positive as I try to be. But yeah, doing too much sunshine. People kind of turn people off to. Mm -hmm. Seems insincere. So you try to be honest. You know, you know what I mean? Yeah, Sometimes like, everything's okay. Everything is not okay. You know what I mean? So that's my version of positivity. It's like, just don't be negative about it. Let's fucking make it better. Right? That's we're we're working it out right now. <laughs> like, I'm like figuring out how to do it. 2016 isn't over yet, but music hmm. has lost some of its pioneers. Leonard hmm. Cohen, David Bowie, Prince, Lemmy. Who was your favorite and why? I was so, all those guys. That was so sad, and it's just gonna start having like more people that we're familiar with, just because we're getting older. Yeah. And it's that kind of world, you know. And there's new people coming up too. Mm -hmm. I have kids. You know, too, like, like George Carlin. I said George Carlin earlier, didn't I? I mean, he used to always say like, "They're here to replace us." You know, it just keeps going around. But man. Every single one of those losses, and there was actually more, but like, yeah, yeah, that, there's, I know you know, but that was just a, mm -hmm. and the, <laughs> it was tough. Those were tough. This man, those had close to home. I, don't, I can't name any of them. I don't want to name any of them. Mm -hmm. I was actually, but to be honest with you, because you'd heard it was going to happen, and it was like a rumor. So you were a little prepared, but you never think like. Um. Do you prefer physical music and book collection or iPods and ebooks? I like records and books. I do too. Thank you, I John. I like you guys too. <laughs> Sorry. We love you. <laughs> we lost a lot of important people last week. We did. Agreed. Whew. Thanks. <laughs>